Patch Insights is the version of our Advanced Insights product here at Patch My PC for customers who are not on our premium SKU. Patch Insights delivers on our commitment to our customers to provide an industry-leading patch management reporting solution for the Configuration Manager dataset. If you are familiar with our Advanced Insights product, then you'll immediately recognise the top-level home dashboard, which is unchanged from that version. This gives us visibility of the Configuration Manager environment, for example, how long your version of Configuration Manager has left in support. It will also show you details about the number of devices that you have managed in the environment versus the total population, any critical or security updates which are required in the environment but which are not currently deployed, and any issues that you might have with content distribution. The second row shows details of client deployment, listing the different versions of the Configuration Manager client that you have deployed in the estate. We'll also show you details of your Windows 10 and Windows 11 machines, including their support status. And we can pivot this chart to show us things like the release version, for example, or the um, addition of the SKUs that you have deployed. We'll show the same kind of data for the Office 365 clients that you have deployed. The final chart here shows us scan health for devices scanning against the software update points. The third row shows us details about our least compliant computers and about our least compliant updates. This top level dashboard is there as a quick daily check type view to ensure that everything in the environment looks the way that you expect. You'll see that on the left hand side we have another area in the menu for software update specific reporting, so let's take a look in there. Here's a software update dashboard. Some of the statistics that we showed previously are shown in more detail here, and we also have several other functions which can be useful when it comes to reporting on your software update environment. This page shows information about software updates from uh, Microsoft, as well as the Patch My PC catalogue and any other catalogue that you might have imported into your Configuration Manager environment. As with Advanced Insights, we can click on any of the details that we see in this dashboard to get a friendly view of more information. So, for example, if I wanted to see my individual machine and update compliance against all of the updates I deployed here in September this year, then I can drill through and see the details of that. Clicking any of these statistics is going to take me to a, uh, a list view. So for example, if I wanted to see the two machines that still require this cumulative update, then as you'd expect, I can click on that and it'll take me to this additional view that's going to show me all of those machines which are missing versus the machines that have it installed. I can also see the rest of the metadata associated with this update here. I can see details about its size, uh, which software update groups it is a member of and their deployment status. And I can also see each of the individual deployments appropriate for this update. Further to that, if I wanted to see the specific deployment statistics, then I can drill into each of these individual deployments and see the overall status of those. Everything is good with this deployment. This second deployment is good but we've got one machine here that's failed to install it and a couple of machines that haven't yet reported in. Anywhere you see a computer name in the interface, clicking on it will take us to a cut down device view. So this is lacking some of the features that the Advanced Insights product has, but it does allow us to see details of that individual machine and its overall software update compliance. And this is quite a detailed view. I can see when the machine last scanned and whether it was successful or not. I can see details about the catalog version that we're using um, and uh, any updates which are known to be required on this machine versus updates which are installed, etc. So here I can see that this machine requires a bunch of, uh, bunch of updates. I'm probably going to do some stuff about that. The general tab will also show us some additional information about the machine, such as its make and model, whose it is, uh, what operating system it has, its online status, and whether it's pending a reboot. So hopefully what that has shown you is that I can go from a very high level view here in the software update dashboard, looking at an individual month's updates, all the way down to viewing an individual computer and its compliance state. The software update dashboard is complemented by a number of other reporting areas here in the portal. I can get a verbose view of all software updates. So this will allow me to uh, search, for example, for any specific update that I might be interested in seeing my compliance of. I can also view a compliance list of my software update groups. So if I wanted to see what my overall compliance is like against this month's software updates, for example, then I can see that data here and I'm able to filter these against collections. I can see details of all of the software update related deployments that I have in the environment and the overall um, 
compliance of each of those um, will show you a friendly view of any feature updates that you have deployed in the environment as well. And then the computer status view is going to show us an all up view of every machine in the environment and its compliance state for every update where it is not currently compliant. So if your question is simply what is happening right now with any update, then I can, uh, I can view those here as well. Patch Insights is built on the same framework as Advanced Insights and uses the same installer. What you see in the interface is specified by your license, which is configured in our backend API. So any customers who are not licensed for our premium SKU will have access to this Patch Insights environment. And if you wanted to use the full Advanced Insights functionality, then uh, all you would need to do is upgrade to our premium licensing and uh, your license key will automatically uh, enable you to see all of the functionality that we have in Advanced Insights. So if you have any further questions about that or uh, want to see any more, then uh, please reach out to us and we'll be very happy to help. Both Advanced Insights and Patch Insights are available for use today. So any customers on our premium SKU should already have access to the Advanced Insights code base. Any of our customers on other SKUs, Enterprise Plus or Enterprise Patch, can download the Advanced, Insta the Advanced Insights installer today and uh, gain access to Patch Insights simply by installing the product and uh, configuring it to point at your Config Manager site server database. If you need any assistance with that, then we're very happy to, uh, to provide help with, uh, with setup and configuration. Uh, you just need to reach out to us uh, via your account executives, and we'd be very happy to help. Thanks very much for watching. Speak to you again soon.